everyone. Welcome into my Freckle Love office. I am Martha Barnett. If this is your first time joining me, welcome into my office. I feel like things look really fuzzy today. Do they look really like blurry to you? Not quite as sharp as normal. That's really strange. I'm not sure what's doing that. But I'm going to do a fresh, fast summer look for you today. So let's get started. I am going to start by prepping my skin with a little bit of daytime moisturizer. It is a hot day today, so I am going to go with a very light, quick, easy makeup look. Nothing heavy. I'm going to be going outside here in just a bit. Oh. So I don't want anything that's going to be too heavy or nothing dark or dramatic for today. Just a very simple summertime. Don't have a lot to do today. Just a few household chores. Getting ready for um, in two weekends, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, a bridal shower for my future daughter-in-law. So I've got that to look forward to. Um, dealing with some um, breakouts right here around my chin today. So I'm going to, oh, I do not need a face primer today because I've decided I am going to use um, just a regular um, BB cream. I am using the shade Bisque which is a very light, neutral, a bit more, there we go, shade. And I'm gonna be applying that with my Kabuki brush, which is my fave. This was uh, something we talked about quite a bit last week on my blog and several of my social media accounts. How do you like to apply your foundation? And I know a lot of gals said a sponge and I have certainly tried that method However, I feel like I get better control and better coverage using the Kabuki brush. I learned this technique um, from another friend uh, who's a makeup artist who's really into makeup. And she introduced me to the Kabuki brush. And once I started using it, I really fell in love with the, the ease and the coverage that I get. It just seems like it's, I don't know, really um, a nice, flawless, natural finish. And I've got to look up close here. I don't feel like I need, no, that covered really well. I have some dark spots right along in here and along this side of my face, right there at the corner of my eye, but I feel like it covered it pretty well today. I don't mind my freckles showing, so that's not a, that's not a big deal for me. I just like to make sure that I kind of cover up my dark spots. Let me grab a blush. I think we're gonna go for, this is stunning. Now that looks like really, really bright pink, but when you apply it, I feel like it's not, not quite that crazy. And I like to give it just a very light touch. You can always add more later, but you can't take it away. You can, but it's, a lot more difficult. So I'm gonna start out very, very light. Like I said, I'm just going for a very natural look today. Nothing oh, itchy, nothing dramatic today. Not really going anywhere, doing anything special. Just filming a couple videos, some reels. There we go. All right, little brow powder. And yes, I am one of those weird people that does my foundation first. I know I've had so many makeup artist friends say you should always do your eyes first and then go back and do your foundation in case you have any little oopsies. You know, underneath, you can just brush them away when you put your foundation on. But one, I don't know, maybe it's just the eyeshadow I use. I never seem to have problems with that and 
If you noticed when you saw me with the Kabuki brush, I like to get in super close around my eyes when I apply my foundation or BB cream. And I know if I had something on my eyes, I would just end up smearing it. So I do the opposite. I'm one of those rules are meant to be broken kind of gals, I guess. You do you, you do what works for you. I'm also one of those people that only washes their hair once a week, so yeah. All right, so now I am ready for eyes and I am going to use liquid eyeshadow today. So again, I don't need a primer. I've got three um, liquid shades. This is glassy. I'm not sure, uh, glassy may be out of stock right now. This is a really silvery white, super, super, see-through shimmer. I'm just gonna use that on the inner corner of my eye and I'm not gonna use much of it. And then I'm using my two favorites. I just restocked these because, oh my gosh, look, they're almost empty. I've got Giggly and I've got Business Like. Um, Giggly is a really super pale matte pink and Business Like is just a slightly more mauve um, tone. You can see there, that's the best you can probably see the two, difference between the two colors. And I'm just gonna use these two colors today. Well, along with the glassy, I should say. Um, so I'm just gonna go right ahead and get started in on this because like I said, you don't need a primer with these. That's one of the beauties of them. So you can see this is a super quick makeup routine. I mean, I did the BB cream, I did a little bit of blush, some brow powder, now I'm gonna put in a little bit of the glassy. You can see what I mean now about that being super white, kind of silvery. I feel like this side is not as dark. I'm about out of this color as well. Probably should have ordered more of it. When I first got it, I didn't think I would use it that much. There, that's better. And of course, I did end up using it a lot. All right, and then I'm gonna go for the giggly in the middle of my lid. Okay. Wow, I am just about out. Good thing I reordered this. By the way, these colors, um, the liquid eyeshadows, are still on sale through tomorrow. So I will put my link um, down below in the comments if you want to go check these out. Um, and there are several other shades as well. Like I said, I think the glassy is out of stock right now. But I know there's Giggly and the Business Like are still there, as are several other shades. Now this is the Business Like here that I'm putting on the corner, kind of in a V-shape. Now when I buff these in with a brush, they will be, except for the glassy, it's obviously a shimmer, but the other two are matte shades. So they will not look shiny like that once. I get everything all blended in with a nice big fluffy brush. I'm gonna start at the corner, inner corner, and then just buff my way out. Wipe that off a bit. Do the same thing on this side, start at the inner corner work my way out. Ah, nice, nice and subtle. Nothing crazy, nothing drastic. I'm gonna grab, um, mm -hmm, if I can find it here quickly, I'm gonna grab my eyeliner in, let's see. I'd like to find prevalent, is this it? New, that one is a lip liner. I don't think I have enough, what do you think? I have quite the collection going over here. This could be prevalent. Yes, there we go. Prevalent is sort of a, um, I lost scribbling on my hand. It's um, a brownish maroon shade actually. It, does, it looks very brown right there, but it's actually compared to the brown, it's got quite a bit of um, sort of a burgundy or a maroon shade. I'm gonna use that just along my lower lash line a bit. 
just so it gives the appearance of more lashes on the bottom than I actually have. There we go. All right, a little bit of lash primer. By the way, this liner is also um, waterproof, wearproof, smudge proof. That little scribble, if I leave that on there, it will still be there tonight when I go to shower, even after I've done dishes. It'll still be there, even after I've washed my hands a dozen times during the day as I'm taking care of dogs and doing household chores. I wash my hands a lot, especially after the pandemic. It like became this habit that I still, now I still do it like all the time. So that's going to really, really stay on there. You can see it does not come off. Even if I, um, do I have any water on here? I don't think I do. I don't have a water. Oh, wait. There we go. There you can see. It's not going to come off. I would really have to scrub with soap and water to get it off. Now, while I'm waiting on this to dry, I'm gonna grab my new lip butter. This is Poolside Party. It looks super intense and very, very pink. I was a little skeptical when I first got it. I was like, oh, I don't know, that color's a little intense, but it's super sheer. I was a little hesitant too, because this is not a color like being a redhead that I would normally get. But my friend and nail tech, Annette, is also a ginger, and she ordered this same color, and it looks fabulous. We were just talking how sometimes the color that you think is going to look great on you doesn't, and vice versa. All right, so there we go. Now I am ready for some mascara, and then we'll give it a spritz of setting spray, and we're going to call it done. So there we go. That is my story for today. I haven't had too much going on. I have a great niece that should be arriving anytime now, anytime. If she would hurry, I'm sure her mother would appreciate that. She has started to slowly, hesitatingly arrive then just to fool her mother and say, well, maybe not today. So I'm sure my niece would love it if her daughter would go ahead and just make her appearance into the world. Her name's gonna be Sophia Kate. She will be my niece's third daughter. I'm very excited. I'm anxious to find out what she will look like. Her older sister Sutton has blonde hair and blue eyes. And her middle sister, Ava, um, has darker hair and brown eyes. Um, Sutton looks, I think, more like her dad's family. I, Ava definitely takes after my family. She has my thighs. God bless that poor child. Of all my traits she had to get, it would be the thighs. Yeah, she, um, she has my body type. Bless her. It runs in the family. Um, but she is beautiful. Um, she is a beautiful girl, so spunky, so full of life. She's my spirit animal, I tell you. So I'm interested to see what Miss Sophia Kate is going to look like, who she will look like. I think Ava looks a lot like my brother, especially the faces that she makes, especially when she's being sassy. All right. Um, had two sick dogs yesterday that I had to take to the vet, but they are both doing better today, both on new meds. One of them had a neck injury that was causing him some problems. The other one had, um, probably a bladder infection. So we've got him on some antibiotics and he's doing better. So all is much better in my household. So today, just got some business stuff to do little setting spray. Setting spray is like hairspray for your face. It's gonna keep everything where it is supposed to be so that it doesn't melt off my face the minute I go outdoors. And even on the days where I vo volunteer at the dog shelter, 
Um, if I have makeup on it, I don't normally wear it, but sometimes it just depends on what I've got going on that day. I may have been somewhere else prior to going to the shelter and I may already have makeup on. Um, and then I get out there in the 90 degree heat and I'm walking, you know, big, huge dogs. Um, cause we tend to have a lot of pit bulls at our shelter. Um, go figure. Um, so I'm out there walking these dogs and I'm sweating buckets and my makeup stays put. One of the gals even said to me, how do you get your makeup to like, it's not going anywhere. It's like right there. It's just staying. It looks perfect. And I told her, this is my secret weapon right here. The Behold Setting Spray just keeps everything where it's supposed to be so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, my friends, that is it for today. Don't forget the sale that's going on right now is only good through tomorrow. It's June, but believe it or not, we are almost to July. Um, so a lot of the items I showed today, the liquid eyeshadows are on sale. The lip butters are on sale. The BB cream is on sale. Um, I think that's it. There is a mascara on sale. It's not the one I used today. It's the Epic, but it is on sale as well. So I'll drop the link down below. Go to my website, check out what's on sale and stock up now. That's a good sale because we don't normally don't have that many products at one time that are on sale. So go on there, stock up on what you need for the rest of the summer and... I will see you all next time. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, you found any of my tips helpful, please give it a, a like and a share and let people know about it. It helps me when I get my videos out there to more and more people. I'm able to help more and more women with their makeup questions. All right, friends. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye-bye.